start off, we kind of dove into prototyping and working with a program called SolidWorks. Um, Well, there was a lot of calculations involved with buoyancy and uh, how far the uh, boat would sink into the water when we got in. And um, we only got a set amount of materials, so we had to uh, decide how much cardboard we wanted on the walls or on the bottom and how much duct tape we were going to use and where we were going to use it. Um, we modeled the design kind of off of the landing crafts in World War II, the ones that like went up on the shores. It kind of looks like a John boat, just with a flat front. Um, we figured this would probably give us the most stability. Uh, race day was not quite as we expected. Uh, almost immediately when we hopped in our boat, it failed structurally. It, when we stepped in, it, one of our the person who uh, got in the boat, his foot went pretty much all the way through, making the boat collapse in on itself. So we don't know how our boat would have done if we were able to let it get to float, because mathematically it was set to float, it was going to hold our 320 pounds, and everything was great on paper, but I guess that's, like Mr. Robbins said, part of the engineering process is learning to deal with failures. So. this project as a legacy project where groups after us will take upon our designs and try to improve upon them and basically by failing this year we can continue and go back to our designs, see what improvements we can make and see how much better we can make this for the future.